Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I have been sharing my weight loss journey here on YouTube since April of 2020. Since I started sharing my journey, I had lost 30 pounds and then after I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy, which is a type of bariatric surgery, I've lost an additional 90 pounds, bringing my total weight loss to 120 pounds. I share what I have learned along my journey as well as the tools and tips and tricks that have helped me as well. So if that's something that interests you, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button, follow along, ding the little bell so that you get a notification when I upload a new video. And I just really appreciate the support. I'm here to support you too. So I love when you guys share your experiences in my comment section. Don't forget to like this video. And while you're down there, scroll on down to the comments and let me know what type of health journey you are on. Now, obviously an important part of any weight loss journey is going to be a reliable scale that you can use to weigh yourself. Everybody has different preferences as to when and where and how they weigh themselves. But me personally, I like to have as much data as possible possible, I consider myself definitely a data nerd. So a smart scale is essential to me. And I actually weigh myself every single day, first thing in the morning after I go to the bathroom. As you can imagine, I've gone through several scales over the years, and I am always looking for something new and reliable when it comes to a smart scale. But I also don't want to spend a ton of money because I use these so much in my everyday life that I need something that if I need to, I can quickly get another one very easily. So recently on Amazon, I found this brand. This is Any Loop. This is a smart digital scale. It comes with an app. And so I'm gonna be setting this up today. I wanted to kind of show you what it looks like when I take it out of the box. And then tomorrow morning, when I weigh myself first thing, I will share that experience as well. My previous scale just recently kicked the bucket. And even though I'm pretty much in maintenance at this time in my weight loss journey, I still do weigh myself every single day. I'll skip a day here and there, but it's important to know kind of what foods trigger the scale going up, what foods help the scale go down. And I do like to pay attention to all of those things in addition to some of the other things that this particular scale can do. The scale actually features 14 different body composition measurements that are really gonna help me in my weight loss or weight maintenance journey. It's also gonna help me make more informed decisions. The cool thing is too, like, so this comes with its own app, which I'll download and I'll show you all what that looks like. But those apps can send data back and forth to your other apps that you're using to measure health. So for me, I have an Apple Watch. I use Apple Health pretty consistently. It's also compatible with Google Fit and several other apps. So you don't have to worry about having too many apps to track too many things because this syncs via Bluetooth and it will send all that data to where you need it to go. If you do have multiple household members that are trying to lose weight or at least monitor their weight, you can have up to 10 different profiles in the app. So you would just switch between those. I am the only one that will be using this. This is my personal scale. So I don't have to worry too much about that. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time there, but if that's something you need, it is available to you. They also have a baby mode. So if you have a baby that you're tracking their weight and growth progress, you can use the scale for that as well. So I'm going to take this out of the box and let's take a look at it before I set up the app. I'm going to open this up here. Very well packaged, always a plus. And this is pretty hefty. I, it's got some weight to it. So I'm happy about that because uh, I've had ones in the past where they're too light and they're like easy to kick around and I, <laughs> I'm not the most graceful. Having something that's sturdy and easy to get on and off of, very important to me. Okay, so taking this out of the box. Oh, look how nice. Comes with a little measuring, so you can take your measurements too. Also an important part of monitoring your weight loss progress. Sometimes the scale's not gonna move for no matter what you do. So having your measurements handy is definitely good. So thanks, Any Loop. That was very nice to include the measuring tape with this. We've got our instructions. 
instructions comes with a color booklet so that's helpful and i will be following these always read the instructions before you get started so i'm actually gonna pause this and then take a look okay instructions are read so now let's take this out of the plastic Ooh, shiny <laughs> So we've got this, wow, this is very, very nice. I really love the modern design. I'm trying to uh, angle this so that it's not too reflective. That's, if I had one piece of feedback, I don't know why they make scale tops reflective. Like I don't need to see myself in the scale, like a mirror in the morning. So one tiny bit of feedback, but they're all kind of like this nowadays, but I do love the design. It's got a QR code on the front there so that we can see the uh, instructions digitally, which is kind of nice. Flipping it over to the back, we've got a battery protector. So I'm actually gonna pull that out. Now it's live. Oh, it said, I didn't turn it around fast enough, but it said, hi. <laughs> so very, very nice display there. Look at that. Oh. Very, very nice, very bright. I like this a lot. All right, so I've got to angle this down so that you all can see it and you're gonna get a little bit of a reflection of my thighs here, but it is what it is and we're just gonna have fun with that. So I don't know if it will pick up on camera, but there's the sections here are off. So something very important that I read in the instructions, when you weigh yourself on this smart scale, you do have to do it barefoot. It's not going to work and take the additional measurements if you have socks on. So very, very important. You have to do this barefoot. You have to weigh in barefoot. I actually went ahead and removed that sticker so we can get a good view of the entire scale. So I really, really do love just the modernness of this. It is very sturdy. It's got some good weight to it. There's going to be no kicking this around. I definitely want to go ahead and set up the Fit Days app. There will be a QR code right on the glass. I actually took it off of this already, but scan that QR code and it's going to take you right to the app download on your device and then you can set it up. It's going to ask you a few quick questions. You'll have to register for an account. It's going to ask you your height and your age and then there are some additional settings depending on which measurement system you use whether you use imperial or the metric system you obviously want to set up that appropriately and then it will take you through the bluetooth setup which is going to be your first weigh-in so my first weigh-in here is going to be a little bit inaccurate because it's the middle of the day i've already eaten and that's just not how i weigh myself so tomorrow morning what i'm going to do is i'm going to log in and get my actual first weigh-in which i will share here. So just some of the really cool features that this scale will measure. You've got BMI, body fat percentage, muscle rate, fat free body weight, which if you click on any of these, it will give you a definition of what the measurement is. So for that one, it says after body fat, muscle mass is the second most prominent factor in body weight. So it gives a little explanation. It does have subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, body water weight, uh, skeletal muscle, muscle mass, bone mass, protein, BMR and body age. My body age is 44. That's four years older than I am. So we want to get that number down a little bit. Overall, I'm really happy with the scale. I love the way that it looks. It was easy to set up. Just make sure you follow the instructions as they are stated in the product instructions and on the scale. And I am looking forward to using this and gathering some data over time. I will definitely do an update in a couple of weeks when I start working out at the gym and training. I would love to see how these numbers kind of change and the app makes it very easy to compare those stats. So what did you think of the AnyLoop scale? I'm really impressed with it. I'm really happy and I'm excited to compare some of these stats over time. I will definitely provide an update further down the road once I have some data to play with and compare. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to connect with you here or on any of my other social media accounts. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.